I'm here <coughs> for the purpose of uh, paying my condolence on behalf of the President, the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, in person to our governor and the family. I say that I'm here in that behalf because otherwise I should really be a host here not uh, a visitor visiting my brother Dapo. Certainly not a visitor. This, as you all know, is home for me. Papa, my father. And so I'm here just because uh, I also have to represent uh, the President and the Federal Republic of Nigeria. There are three reasons, at least, why we should be rejoicing are not mourning. The first is that Papa lived a long life. Almost 90, beg your pardon, a year to his 90th birthday. That's a very, it's a good, that's a good number. It's a good way to go at practically 90 years old. The second is that before he died, I do not think there's any dream of his or any prayer of his that was not answered. And I think one of his important prayers is that his son, who had aspired to be governor of Ogun State, would in fact be governor. So Papa saw the inauguration of his son as governor, was there for his first year, second year, and he did so with great joy. The third reason is that he has left behind a worthy legacy. Bibeli wipe enirere don fi duki ale for mo ato mo mo. Duki ano wa ba enko ni duki ano ko sha le je moto ati le. Tori ti an ba lo fi moto le nsin for mo ato mo mo. Ile gan papa and I'm very happy that our governor has taken this seriously. I know that all through the period of the campaign and before, he was, in, he was praying and fasting. That kind of approach to life can only come w when your parents have put you on the right path. So I'm extremely pleased to say to you today that we are rejoicing and celebrating the life of an incredibly great man who not only was known for his own contribution to society as a teacher, Baba teacher, but also the fact that all through his life he supported all the worthy causes and was himself a progressive. So you cannot speak of progressive politics, progressive ideas without mentioning his name. So we're all truly grateful to the Almighty God that he has made this possible. So while I express my condolence to you, uh, I know how painful this particular uh, loss was. I know how very painful. In fact, when uh, the Right Honorable Speaker described how uh, he broke down, I said that's even a small one in comparison to when I spoke to him. I almost got on a plane immediately to come and see him. Almost. And that's the kind of love and affection that the governor had for his father and also that his father had for him in turn. So we can only pray that Mama will live long and well. We are told they've been married for 65 years. That's a very long time. That she will also, that she will see even more of her grandchildren and great-grandchildren in good health and in joy. And when the time comes for her going away, it will not be with pain, she will not be sick, she will not be ill. All will be well with her. 
in Jesus' mighty name. So I want to, uh, again, just express my condolence to you and to all members of our family and to all uh, Ogun State because the loss of the first father of the state is a big loss to us all. So I express my sincere condolence. And to all of us, Thank you. Almighty and everlasting King, we thank you. Jehovah, the great and mighty God, the only one who is and is to come. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for this day. Lord God Almighty, we want to thank you for the life of our Father. We want to thank you for his life and times that you brought him up to the age of 89. Lord, we bless your holy name for giving him life, for giving him good health, for giving him joy, for answering all of his prayers. We thank you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Almighty and everlasting King, your word says precious in your sight is the death of your saints. Our Father, Pa Emmanuel Adesoya Biodu, was a saint of yours because he was saved before he died. And Lord, we ask that even as you have, even as you blessed him, even as you saved him and you showed him mercy, we ask that you come and show mercy to every one of his children, grandchildren, and great grandchildren in the name of Jesus. Your word says that we should behold our God and know that indeed he is God and that he is the one who keeps covenant and mercy for a thousand generations for those who believe him and who trust in his word. Lord God Almighty, our Father trusted in you and believed in you. And so it is your promise that generations after him will be blessed and that you will show them mercy. So we ask that you come and bless Dako Abiodun, his wife, their family, all members of their family, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Lord God Almighty, you are the one who is able to do all things. You are the one who can comfort. You are the one who, who can give joy. Father, we know that there has been mourning because of the loss of Papa. We ask Almighty God, even as you have said, weeping may endure for a night but joy will come in the morning we ask almighty god for all of those who mourn today all members of the family we pray that the joy of the morning will speedily come in the name of the lord jesus lord god almighty i ask that you come and lay your hands upon our governor his excellency his wife all their children all the governor's siblings and their grandchildren and great-grandchildren, every one of them, I ask that you come and lay your hands upon them. As you gave our Father long life, even give them longer lives. As you blessed our Father, even bless them. Let everyone know that indeed they have been set apart for your mercy and favor in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord God Almighty, I want to thank you for everybody who is here. Everyone who is here, all of us, live longer than our father lived in the name of the Lord Jesus. All of us will witness the passing of our old ones when they die in very old age who will not die before them in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Every one of us will be celebrated. In our lifetimes we will know good and see good. In our lifetimes we will see our children doing well. As Papa saw his child become a governor, as he saw him do well in life, we also will see our children do well in life. We will see our children excel in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. So Lord, I thank you. Thank you for everything. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen.